Wow, that sure looks nice. Boy, you want to learn how to install a wall sconce? See what was up there before? That's the light fixture that was up there before. You want to learn how to install a wall sconce like this. Stick around. Okay, time to put this box in. Let's see. I have not tried it yet. I'm going to try to line up these holes so I can kind of squeeze in, sneak in some screws there. Looks like the top is going to be fine about where it's at. And I haven't tapped this in with a hammer yet. I'm hoping not to have to cut it anymore. Look at that. Wow. Almost don't even have to put any screws in it. I just cut it in the, cut in the plywood that nice and tight. Actually, that's not going to come out of this hole. This wire is going to be in here. Then I'm going to have my finished wire coming from the light fixture going in there. And I only have a half inch to deal with. Okay, but I'll have to squeeze it in there nice and tight. Push them in there, rearrange that, push that in there tight. And then I'm going to just surface screw this into the plywood all the way around. Normally, you don't use a square like that, but because it's going to be the wall sconce, it's just going to be a slightly different way to do it. Okay, so I'm going to take my screw and put it in there. And I'm going to squeeze this up in here and get, get the plywood, or the one by. Just like that. I'm not too concerned if this is flush. The, head, the heads of the screws. Okay, the heads of the screws are sticking out a little bit, but they're inside the box. I don't really care about that. And I'm not going to screw anything on here because we're not putting a regular light mixture back up in here. did it all fine and dandy, but this is how I'm going to do it, based on stuff I saw with Joe, and yes, I learned a few things from Joe, and now I can do my project. Now see how this, this thing floats in there, because I didn't put that little goodie in there, and if I had an extra one of these, I would have done it, if I had an extra one, I don't want to have to go back to the store. Some people would frown upon this, but if you watch any electrician, they use a sheetrock knife like that to score this, to score the outside sheathing. I'm trying to not go too deep with it.
hospital today, that's for sure. Okay? Well, that's how you install a cut-in box like that. If you want to stick around, I might show you how to put the plate on. I'm getting ready to install a wall sconce. I took the existing light fixture off the wall, and here's the existing light fixture that I took off the wall. I, I ended up having to put a cut-in box in here because the existing wires, there's a one by four back there, and I put in a pancake box. I could have put in a cut-in box like this, and this, this deal pushes in to the wall and then you tighten up the screws and that pulls this right up tight with the plywood behind there. I didn't, I couldn't do that because a one by four was in my way. Okay, so lucky for me, I brought two different cutting boxes that I can do. Now I'm gonna put the wall sconce in. Well, the wall sconce isn't really set up for a light fixture. You know, we got this at the store. Isn't that cool? That's gonna be the wall sconce. And we couldn't just install it without doing some thought process here. I had to go to the store and buy that because then that's going to fit up in there. And then I have to have a wire, pre-finished wire, which is going to be this little goodie right here. I got it at the, at the hardware store, had them cut it. And I had three wall sconces to do. And this is my last one. So then this is the finished piece that gets connected from there and then it loop-de-loops and it goes into this box. How are we going to put it into that box? Well, that's what this video is all about. You want to learn how to do that? Stick around. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.